Whenever you create a design in Illustrator, it's best to go ahead and trace around the whole thing so you don't have to combine lines or shapes or strokes. Um, but sometimes you do run into that. Um, so in this video, that's what I'm touching on. Um, what I'm going to do is go to my selection tool at the top. That's my regular selection tool. The shortcut key is V and select my stroke that I want to intersect with this other stroke. I'm going to go ahead and hold down shift and select both of them. So now they're both selected or I can click and drag and it, it will select both. Um, strokes. Those are just strokes, just lines, um, like you see there. They're just strokes, no fills or anything like that. Um, so in here, I'm going to go to my pen tool, and if you click and hold the pen tool, underneath the pen tool, there's a add anchor point tool, delete anchor point tool, and convert anchor point tool. I'm going to go ahead and go to the add anchor point tool and add an anchor point right there. That added an anchor point to this stroke um, going horizontal. I'm going to go back up to my selection tool and select the vertical one and go back to my add anchor point and do the same thing and I've got the smart guides on that's why it says path there it goes ahead and add, adds an anchor point there if you need to see the um, the smart guides you can go to view and show check smart guides out command U or control U on a PC is the shortcut um, so now at this point I've got the anchor points added um, so I can basically delete what I don't need so I can go back to the delete anchor point tool and go to the top point and delete that anchor point that cuts the 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 um, stroke and I'm gonna go do the same thing to this stroke and choose my direct my delete anchor point tool and now they're both deleted and they should the points should be on top of each other at this point um, so now what I have to do is go to my selection tool once again you can go to your selection tool or your direct selection tool the white arrow and actually you want the direct selection tool um, and click on the anchor once and I'm gonna hold down shift and select the other point other stroke, excuse me, and actually what I need to do is click and drag um, so that I got that marquee and just drag over those and that will select both anchor points. Now I'm going to go to object, go down to join, path, excuse me, and join. Object, path, join, command U is a shortcut key. That combines those two points so that they are one at this point. So now if I zoom out in, you see that this is one one stroke at this point. Um, there are of course other ways to do this. For example, if you have two two objects that are that you want to connect together, you can um, select both objects like we did before. Go to your selection tool, click and drag, or you can click on one object, hold down shift, and select the other object. Click on the other object, and then you can go to the pathfinder or excuse me, the shape builder tool, and it will allow you just to click on one object and drag. So click and drag to the other object, and it will combine those objects together. I'm going to hit undo. Um, I'm going to click and drag up, and it will basically do the same thing. Um, so that's one way. Um, another way is to go to Window Pathfinder. It does pretty much the same thing as that tool just did. Um, and there's different modes in Pathfinder. I have another video on Pathfinder as well. But for example, you can unite those two objects. Um, you can inter or excuse me, minus the front, or you can intersect, or even min and subtract the center. Um, so Pathfinder allows you to do a lot of those things as well um, automatically. Um, the manual way, the first way I showed, is it's the good way to know. Of course, it's the best. Best if you're if you're making a line, go ahead and draw it, or a path, or a shape, or whatever. Go ahead and draw it the way that you need it to look. Um, the first time it makes it a lot easier in the long run.